guys, what's up? Are you all tired of big big calculations in mathematics? Then stay tuned with me as you are gonna love today's trick. Now before I begin, tell me how much time you will take to find the cube root of 912673. Hmm, it's a quite a big number, right? Now let me see how much time do I take. So here you have 3, so you will get 7 and here you have 912, so you will get 9. That's it. This is the answer. That was pretty fast, right? So this trick is used to find the cube root of any perfect cube. Before I start with the trick, you have to keep few things in your mind. So you can see that I have written the cubes of first 10 natural numbers, right? So you have to memorize it. I guess you all must be knowing it because this is quite mandatory if you are a student, right? So here we can notice few things. You can see that cube of 1 ends with 1, cube of 4 ends with 4, then cube of 5 ends with 5, cube of 6 also ends with 6, then cube of 9 ends with 9 and cube of 10 ends with 0, right? So this is quite easy to remember. Also, you can see that cube of 2 ends with 8. Cube of 2 ends with 8 and cube of 8 ends with 2. Right? And then cube of 3 ends with 7 and cube of 7 ends with 3. Right? So, here you can see that 2 and 8 are complements of each other. 3 and 7 are complements of each other. So, it's very simple to keep these few things in mind. It will really help to speed up your, uh, you know, calculation speed. So, now let's use this concept to do some questions. Now, let's find the cube root of 1, 2, 1, 6, 7. So, here you have to observe the last number. Here you have 7, right? So here you have to check whose cube ends with 7. So 3 cube ends with 7. I have written here also that 3 cube ends with 7. So the last digit of your answer will be 3. Alright. Now you have to ignore last 3 digits. Now what is left here? It's 12. Now 12 comes between which two numbers here? So 12 comes between 8 and 27 which is nothing but cube of uh, 2 and 3. Right? So we take the smaller digit. So here 23 is your answer. Alright? This is very simple. Basically here you get the answer in two parts. The first part you uh, get by deciding what is the last digit and then the second part you get by taking away these three and whatever is left here. Based on that you get the second part of your answer. Alright? So let's do one more question. Here the last digit is 6. So we know that cube of 6 ends with 6, right? So the last digit of your answer is 6. Now take, take away the last 3 digits. So 97 is left. So 97 comes between these two numbers, right? Which is 4 cube and 5 cube. And we take the smaller digit. So 46 is your answer. Now next one. Here the last digit is 4. We know that cube of 4 ends with 4 only. Take away the last three digits. So you have 262. Now we know that 262 lies between cube of 6 and cube of 7. So we take the smaller digit. So 6 is your answer. You can see that this method is really very fast. Now let's try a few more questions. Here 5 is the last digit. So you will write 5 here. Right? Because you know that the cube of 5 ends with 5. Now take away the last three digits. 614 is left. 614 comes between the cube of 8 cube and 9 cube. So we take the smaller digit. So 85 is the answer. Here you have 3, right? So here what will come? 7, right? I have taught you this that, you know, these are complements of each other. So you can remember that ways. Now ignore last 3 digits. 912 comes between these two, right? So 9 will be the answer. Now here last digit is 9. So here you will get 9 only. Ignore these 3 digits. You have 970. It comes between cube of 9 and 10. So 9 is the answer. Here the last digit is 8. Now for 8 it's 2, right? So write 2 here. Ignore last 3 digits and this is 1061. So 1061 you can check here it is very close to 1000, right? So obviously this number will come between 
10 cube and 11 cube. We know 11 cube is 1, 3, 3, 1, right? So we take the smaller digit. So answer is 102. So you can see that this trick is very simple and easy to understand. You have to do only two steps. The first step is you have to observe the last digit of the number and based on that you will decide what will be the last digit of your answer. Right? And the second step is you have to take away the last three digits and whatever numbers are left in your question, based on that you decide you know, uh, what will be the remaining part of your answer. Just imagine if you would have done these questions from the normal conventional method, which is the prime factorization, how much time you would have taken? A lot of time, right? But from this method, you can see within few seconds, we have done so many questions. So I hope you will use this trick in your daily calculations. I'll give you two questions to practice. You can try it right now and you can comment below. So you have to find the cube root of 19683 and cube root of 681472. Yeah. So keep practicing children. If you like my tricks, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon. So that's it for today. See you very soon with few more interesting tricks. Until then, goodbye. Take care. Thank you.